Here is a screencast for WebAssign number two that is dealing with H plus and OH minus in the acid base category. So I'm going to start with number three so we can make th make it through it all. So if you go to your little cheat sheet that has this box with four things around it on how to do calculations. Again, like if you're here, you cannot skip directly across the block and go diagonal. There's no way to do that. You have to go the long way around the block to get there. But we haven't got that far yet. So right now we're just with the H plus and the OH minus. So the concentration of H plus, the brackets mean concentration, is 1 times 10 to the minus 14th divided by the OH concentration. And the reverse is true. OH minus the concentration of the base parts is equal to, I'm going to write as 1E minus 14th, because that's how you get in your calculator over the concentration of H plus. So when you do most of the calculations on today's web assigned, you're really just going to type in 1E minus 14 and divide by the number that's given to you. Now again, to get 1E minus 14 in your calculator, you have to push the second button to get to that other function, and then you'll push that comma button, which has this E, E above it, and it is above the number 7. That will give you the E. Do not push the time sign. The time sign will do you no good. So let's look at this first question. For each pair of concentrations, tell which represents the more acidic solution. So we got to look at and see what we are looking at. So I see H plus and H plus. If we're comparing H plus and H plus, we're simply going to look for the one that is the larger number. The larger number will be the more acidic one. And when we work with these kind of numbers, the numbers are usually super, super small. And so we need to look at the exponents. It's going to be probably contradictory to what you think. A smaller number is actually going to have a larger exponent. And a larger number is going to have a smaller exponent. Because a minus 3 means there's only two zeros in front. And a minus 4 means there's four zeros in front. So this one's actually a smaller number. This one's a bigger number. So this is our bigger number. So we circled that, and that one's more acidic. In this next one, I see a minus 6 and a minus 8. The one that is bigger is really the minus 6. So that is our more acidic solution. And that's just because we're comparing H's and H's. Now let's look at this one. This one has 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. And this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, way more. So this one is the bigger one, hence that was the one that was circled. Now we're going to switch gears and look at this next one. For each pair of concentrations, tell which represents the more basic solution. So we're going to have to do some math here. So we want basic. So we want the OH number that we have to be greater than the H plus number. And the only way to do it is to compare H's and H's or OH's and OH's. We, we can't compare apples and oranges. So we're going to have to convert one set of these to the other. And since it's asking basic, we probably want to convert that first one to a basic one. So I would take this first number, and all we have to do is we'll do 1E minus 14, and we'll divide it by that number 3.27E minus 5. Hopefully you get that plugged into your calculator. Right, and you'll get 3.06e minus 10. So we have a mi the, what we did is we converted it to OH minus. I'm totally skipping around. Just call me Jolly Skipper. So now we can compare the OHs and the OHs. I see a minus 6 and I see a minus 10. So this number is the bigger number because minus 6 is actually a bigger number. It's less zeros in front. Now let's look at this next one. Uh, so we're looking at bases again, so we're going to convert this first one to OH. So if we were to convert it to OH minus, we would do 1E minus 14 divided by 1.82E minus 5, and we would get 5.5E minus 10. So we got a minus 10 versus a minus 6. Again, that number is bigger, so it tends to be that second one that is more basic in this case. Now this last one, Again, we'll do 1e minus 14. We'll divide it by this number there, 8.45e minus 4. And we're going to get 1.18e minus 11. Let's compare minus 11 and minus 3. Minus 3 is a bigger number. It, in this case for mine, all the OHs were bigger than the bases, so it was more basic. Number 6, in an aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide, and so sodium hydroxide is NaOH, we're talking basic here, has an OH concentration of 
0, e minus 4. What is the h plus? So h plus is just going to be 1 e minus 14 divided by that number 1.0 e minus 4. Now what's interesting about dividing when we have the same base, so we have a 1 and a 1, we can just go 14 minus a minus 4, which is really 14 plus 4, and that's a 10, so our number is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 10, or e minus 10, if that makes you happier. Uh, so you could do that one without actually plugging into your calculator because those ones are similar, but if the base is not the same, you have to bump out your muscles and work a little harder. Number six, calculate the H plus of each of the following solutions at 25 degrees Celsius. The 25 degrees Celsius has nothing to do with this other than that it's proper chemistry speak. Identify each solution as neutral, acidic, or basic. So we are changing all of these to H plus. We can do it. So the H plus is going to be 1 E minus 14 divided by 3 and a half. Wow, 3 and a half is a big number. And we're going to get 2.9 times 10 to the minus 15. There it is, E minus 15. And minus 15 is much smaller than 3 and a half, so it's basic. That means the base parts are bigger than the acid parts. So when your B is greater than your A, that means you're basic. The next one. Scroll. Here we have 9.6 E minus 9. So again, to find the H plus, we're going to go 1 E minus 14 divided by 9.6 E minus 9, and we're going to get 1 dot zero e minus six and this that's our acid part now let's see here this is acidic because our acid parts are bigger than our base parts next one scroll a little bit more Letter C. We're going to do 1 e minus 14 again, divided by 1.9 e minus 3, and we're going to get 5.3 e minus 12, and we are figuring out our acid part. So that's the acid part. This is the base part. It looks like the base number is way bigger than the acid number, so it's basic. And this next one is going to be 1 e minus 14 divided by 1 e minus 7. Again, we have the same base, so I'm going to go 14 minus a minus 7, which actually equals 7, so it's going to be 1 e minus 7. It's the same thing. So when you have a base of 1 and you see the 7, it actually means it's neutral. They're equal parts, so they're neutral. If they're equal, they're neutral. Although in AP Chemistry, we talk about things being neutral, and they're not necessarily with that number 7. So question number seven, talking about sevens. Calculate the OH in each of the following. So we are going to do really the same thing, but it's calculating the opposite thing. So concentration of OH, there's my minus, is 1 E minus 14 divided by 3.31 E minus, I believe that's a five. It's a six, I can't read from the screen. And we're going to get a 3.02 e minus 9. And we look at these are the acid parts. So let's compare. The acid parts are minus 9. The base parts are a minus 6. The base parts are I think I got my head all backwards here. 